Is there any type of accountability for judges like this? No, there's not. This so, is a big issue that I've been fighting as well, yeah, too. Because, I mean, you know, but, and, and I'm going to be talking with John Gentry later on. You probably know John. Yeah, I do. Uh, I love John. But he was the one who talked about these state commissions and, and uh, these oversight committees. Yes. I don't know what they do. No. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they're sham committees, sham commissions. <laughs> um, but I, I took the research that he did, and I looked at it in, in Texas, and I said, he's absolutely right on this. Yeah. And, you know... And, and I know that my case, I, I actually talked with some of the people down there, and they basically said, well, we have no jurisdiction over this matter. I said, this is what he said. So I actually, um, you were able to appeal the, the, re, the dismissal or whatever, whatever it was that they sent me. So I went right back, and I did it again. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they rejected that, too. But yeah. that's when I said, you know what? This whole thing, it's a rigged well, here's, system. Yeah. Here's what. Um, you have to work on your state legislators, and I'm just going to put this out there for everybody. Mm -hmm. You've got to work on your state legislators. In 2010, I went around and I said, the Tennessee Constitution, Article 6, gives the legislators full authority to remove a judge on 10 days notice with a hearing, a petition and a hearing. And Texas legislators, petition. are you listening? I will start the list. <laughs> yeah, so it's probably in... It, yeah. I, you know, Texas and we'll Tennessee. And see, Texas yeah. and Tennessee are, you know, sisters. We're sisters, so, exactly. You know, we, if we it's sent here, all of our, it's there. Yeah, we sent all of our good guys down there to fight in the Alamo. So, yeah. you know, um, but but if you look at your constitution under the same article that creates the courts and creates yeah. the judges, yeah. it's that's where it says that the general, the members of the legislators can file a petition to remove a judge, give him ten days' notice to appear before a joint session, and take his testimony. <clears throat> now it takes two thirds vote, mm -hmm. so you got to put your case together really well. Yeah, but they can remove. I said because they'd all be like, "Well, we don't want to impeach. It's so hard, and we've got to have a trial." And I'm like, "You don't have to impeach a judge. You can impeach a governor. You can impeach a DA. You can impeach whatever you want. Yeah, you, there's nothing that says you have to impeach a judge. Right. And so yeah, I spent okay. I spent a year trying to educate them. And then they still turned it back over for the judiciary to police themselves. Uh -huh. So I've been back down there. Well, again. that's always nice to know that they're policing themselves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this is something I talked to John about because I'm like, John, you have got to tell them. You've got to push this, push this, push this. Mm -hmm. Article 6. They are abdicating their obligations under the Constitution mm -hmm. if they do not read and comply with Article 6 and the removal of judges. Mm -hmm. Removal, I'm going to say that out loud because I want judges to know it, yeah. that a petition to remove you and a, a joint session, 10 days notice, you got to appear in an answer to it. And, you know, there are some bad, there's a lot busting out here in Nashville about judges and some things they're doing and partying together with defense attorneys and district attorneys and going to Costa Rica. Oh, this is nuts. Some yeah. of the stuff that you hear. Yeah. Yeah. So, is and what, I what? just, and somebody just sent me an article from California. Finally, the FBI there has busted up in California yeah. and said that they're partying together and, yeah. you know, doing all that crazy stuff. So, under the um, U.S. Code 18, section, Title 18, Section 242, the deprivation of rights under the color of law. Right. That is a federal issue. Yes, it is. Um, have you seen that being used at all anywhere? I know Don Rufty talks about that all the time. I know, but, but I'm not. I will tell you, um, the only case I know of in Tennessee where somebody got charged with that, mm -hmm. and it's ridiculous, but back in 1994, there was a judge in West Tennessee who was selling sex for custody decisions or selling custody decisions for, for sex, sex, I guess. And ultimately, finally, somebody busted him for it, and he got charged under 242, and he got out of it because the court said that there was no way that having sex was under color of law. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he got away with it. So, yeah, but yeah, I know what. I've not seen anybody prosecuted for it. That's incredible.